It's not a bee swarm simulator. I'm an endgame player. I'm a blue hive. I have 50 gifted bees and I have a little bit of honey. But in this video, I decided to go back to mid game. But going back to mid game as an endgame player wouldn't be possible without my favorite game, the bee swarm test realm. And as you can see, I'm inside of the bee swarm simulator test realm. Right here is the get buffs button. And this gives me science enhancement, tabby love, and polar power times 500. So I do believe mid game noobs, which is what I'm going to be calling every single mid game player in this video, I believe they have all these three buffs. They're not too hard to get. Now let's get all the eggs. So this gives me 10 quadrillion and honey alongside 100,000 of every single item. There's also the auto claim badges button, but I'll get into that later. I'm not gonna step on that just now. So the hive I'm gonna be using in this video is completely random. Anything I get from star eggs right now, I'm gonna keep because I feel like mid game players should keep most of their bees that they get that are gifted, which I doubt I'm gonna be getting considering I'm only using star eggs. I feel like until you have the supreme siren lit, just keep your hive completely mixed with every type of gifted bee. But yeah, I made this video like nine months ago and people kind of made fun of me. As a mid game, I can confirm this man is insane. 10 help. You know what? You need help because I made the best high possible. And in this video, I'm going to make it even better. And there we go. 25 bees that are completely random. Let's see what I got. Basic bee. Let's go. Brave, brave, look a rad rascal. A bunch of this crap. Now let's go inside of the top shop and buy every single item here. But I do have to admit, last time I did go a bit overboard with my hive slots and literally everything else. I kind of did get the Supreme Star Amulet as a mid game player, which I forgot mid game noobs are complete dog water. So I can't be using that. So in this video, I'm only going to be using 40 hive slots. So I can buy 15 more. So one, two. This is gonna take a while. I'm not gonna make you watch. And there we go. I believe if my math is correct, this should be 40 total hive slots. Yavrix, no, he's asleep. It's past his bedtime. Yeah, Yarix is a little busy sleeping right now. But as you can see, I have 40 total hive slots. Yeah, I guess we're getting straight into this. So first up, Windy B. Let's just assume I'm a very lucky mid-game noob, okay? Well, let's just say I got Windy B, right? It's just B. It's not too difficult to get. Tabby B. Who doesn't have Tabby B? Uh, trash can B. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be getting that in this video. Photon, of course. Gummy B. Yes. Festive B. Crimson and cobalt. And let's just say I'm a little pay to win mid game player, okay? Let's also cop the bear bee. And I'm not sure about digital bee. I did say let's pretend that I'm a pay to win mid game noob. A digital bee. Heads I get it, tails I don't. Right, heads. Beautiful. Let's cop the pay to win digital bee. And you guys might be surprised by how many of these hives I actually see inside the main game. But yeah, I only have five more hive slots for whatever bees I need. And I'm gonna give myself two mythic bees, okay? So for instance, let's try fuzzy bee because it's pretty pog. Let's just pretend I'm an unlucky pay to win noob. And I get the point bee. Those two seem pretty legit. Next up, we can do some baby bees because I love baby bees. Let's just do two of those. I already have a gifted one at the bottom. And what's another thing that I really want? And another thing I don't have is a hasty bee. Yes, yeah, so this is the pinnacle of my hive. Although there are a few trash can bees like brave bee and demon bee, which I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of them for something better. You know what? Let's just get a few more carpenter bees because I really love carps for mid game. They're just super good. I'd say they're like the worst version of vector bees. Well, much worse, but they also serve their own purpose. So something that might cause me a lot of pain and suffering is leveling up the hive because usually inside of my test realm videos I just up on this button make these level 20 and gifted people said I'm crazy because mid game players don't even have level 20 bees which I mean I guess you're right so I guess I'm gonna have to manually go through each and every single one of bee gift them because we're still pretending I'm a pay to one noob okay and leveling them up to level 15 yeah I'm gonna be using level 15 I think that's reasonable for mid game but if you guys are mid game tell me in the comments what level your hive is because I'm really curious right now I think every bee is gifted and now I have to level it up so I'm not really sure how many treats it's gonna take Let's just do 50,000. Uh, and that gets hasty beat to level 9. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of treats pretty soon. So really quickly, let's swing by. I'm gonna buy my favorite thrift store, also known as a treat shop, and buy uh, 10 billion treats. Will 100 trillion honey worth of treats be enough to get a hive to level 15? I guess we'll find out. So let's say 500,000. If I do 500,000 treats, how far does I go? Only level 12, bro. About 5 million? All right, 5 million seems like a good number. And it gets all the bees perfectly to level 15. And I guess I'm gonna have to do this like 40 more times. I really hope this doesn't take too long. And here I have finished leveling up every single beat to level 15. I'm only now remembering how much I used to suffer as a mid game player. Anyway, I hope this is a good representation of a mid game player's struggles. Like, look at this monstrosity of a hive. Where are the mythics? Where are the 50 gifted mythic bees? I don't see any. Anyway, we should move on from building the hive to building the amulets. So, inside of the bee swarm test realm, oh, uh, I have to get rid of the super visual ads. Get out of here. So, inside of the bee swarm test realm, you have these buttons, which give you the best type of every single amulet, most of them being supreme amulet. Just to balance it out, the first amulet I get from all these buttons, I'm gonna keep. So if it's complete garbage, I'm gonna keep it. Let's start off with a moon amulet. Uh, that is complete dog water, but I guess I have to replace. Next, we have the ant amulet. Bro, player move speed? Huh? Uh, I guess, 
I guess the promise is a promise, so let's replace. First time I've kept an ant amulet with haste on it. Well, I guess I'm gonna be really quick in this video. Next up, the sick bug amulet. Uh, the and that is complete garbage, and I hate my life now. But I guess we have to replace. Moving on, supreme shell amulet. Oh, bro, bond from battle. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is complete cringe. And finally, we have the king beetle amulet. Plus one blue beast. <laughs> This pains me, and this probably pains every single Beast Storm player, that I'm getting plus one blue bee attack on my ant amulet. Ah, uh, I guess I'm a mid-game noob. What can you expect from us? Oh, there's also the cog amulet. Well, hey, I have to make this video fun somehow. So let's see what I got. Colorless bee attack, 28 red pollen, flame pollen, nectar, and some blue conversion. Okay, we can replace. The next thing I have to do is get some better gear. Now that I've got my high figured out along with my gear, now that I've got my high figured out along with my amulets, I have to get some better gear. So no better thing to do than jump inside of the coconut field. And since I don't have the test troll mega boost, which gives me times 10 attack. I'm really gonna experience the suffering that mid game players experience when trying to kill the coconut crab. Bro, a few bees are missing. How are you missing? Why are you missing? I don't understand. And yeah, this just hurts me mentally, dude. I don't remember how long, it's been a long time since it's taken me more than 30 seconds to kill the coconut crab. So I guess I'm experiencing the suffering of the mid game experience. So I guess I'm experiencing the mid game experience all over again. And I'm gonna tell you, it's nice being an end game player. It's nice buying your 28 quadrillion royal jelly when Whenever you want to for a video and then get a brave beat. I'm talking about myself, of course. I've been here for over a minute now and I've only done 20,000 damage. Wow, this actually hurts my soul. Can someone spawn a windy? Yeah, no, let's not do that, bro. You will literally break the game. I'm not even kidding. Windy B breaks Beast from Test Realm. Uh, but I really hope the killing this coconut crab won't take too long. Oh my gosh, I think I'm finally gonna do it. The coconut crap has been defeated without the test roll mega boost. But six minutes and one second of just plain suffering? I think I'm pretty close to the leaderboard. What do you guys think? Maybe my next crab kill as a mid-game player will be the record. Yo, why are there- What? Huh? Coconut crab! Bro! <laughs> bro, I killed him, and he literally spawned back in to get revenge on me. What the heck? <laughs> this game is such a scam. He literally erected from the grave just to kill me. Oh my god. Alright. Coconut clogs, that's what I'm gonna get, and the coconut canister, because I feel like both those things aren't too difficult to get, and a lot of mid-game noobs have them, like the vitamin delicious, he's a complete mid-game noob. Oh, full reset, don't touch, oh, what, imagine I just touch it by accident. Oh, my finger slipped, just kidding. Yeah, that would suck if I'm band me again after I do all this work. All right, next up, we have to head over to the badge shop. Oh, just kidding, the badge shop is locked because I don't have any badges. I get all these three badges here. Is this gonna be good enough? Oh, uh, actually, I'm missing two badges, okay. So I did mention that there is a get all badges, button. But the thing is, it gets every single batch to Grandmaster, and I'm a mid-game player, and I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is step on it and leave instantly. Okay, so let's do this. And I left. And now when I claim my hive and I look inside the badges, you can see that most of them are complete, but they're not claimed. So I'm gonna get every single batch to Master instead of Grandmaster, just to make it a little more fair. Because I doubt mid-game players have Grandmaster badges. They might have a few, but beside that, most of them are probably a Master or at Cadet or Hotshot or something. I don't really know. And hopefully I don't misclick and accidentally get a Grandmaster bot. Oh, I was just saying, hopefully I don't misclick. And here I got myself Grandmaster badge. Hopefully you guys don't mind me having 10% extra loot like from Cloverfield, okay? It's gonna be so overpowered than killing mobs and boosting. Maybe I can get myself a gold egg from Cloverfield with that. And now most of my badges are at Master. Oh wait, I missed these two. I'm just gonna get both of these to Grandmaster because I feel like most people have them. Like goo isn't even that hard to get. Same with ability tokens. You see these things on the ground, you only have to collect like 10 million of them. Nothing much. One night of off-camera grinding and you should be good. And I think the A shop, also known as the bat shop, is unlocked. So really quickly, my mid-game noob self is gonna craft some loaded dice. Because one thing I want to do when I'm done setting up this count is boost. All right, so let's just speed this up. I have 100,000 tickets. I'm a rich mid game player, okay? I can afford it. So let's speed this up as well. Let's go. Very poggers. Oh, wait. I literally just went in here and, for and forgot to do like two thirds of the things I wanted to. All right, so now I can cop all of these things inside of here. So honeycomb bell, cobalt guard, crimson guard, and honey mask. Let's go. And I have everything in here. Now, the cobalt and crimson guards I have them on two of my alt accounts, and both of them are mid game. So it's not even that hard to get. If you're a mid game player, you should get these. They're not that expensive, and they're super OP. But yeah, Next up, in my last video, I actually bought the Supreme Saturator, which even if I want to, I can't because I don't have the Grandmaster badges. So I'm gonna stick with the Diamond Drenchers. I think that should be pretty fair. And lastly, we are gonna hop inside of the Gummy Layer, get my glue because I clearly don't have enough of it. And let's cop the Gummy Mask and the Gummy Boots. 
Actually, wait, I'm not sure if I should get those. My logic is that Vitamin Delicious has gummy boots. Look at what's on his feet, purple boots. And Vitamin is the biggest noob I know. So Vitamin as a noob has gummy boots. I can have gummy boots as well as a mid-game player. Two more things I have to do. Obviously, obviously a mid-game player like me, who is a complete professional, cannot be using the porcelain dipper. That is complete disgustingness. So that is why I'm gonna go inside of the pedal shop and buy the pedal wands. I won't go crazy and use something like the gummy baller. I mean, hey, I might. Maybe that's another video. Coming up with these video ideas, which are completely limited inside of B-Swarm on the spot. Beautiful. So the thing I'm gonna do instead of getting the Supreme Star Amulet, which once more I can't even get, I don't even have 40 gifted B-types. I am gonna get the Diamond Star Amulet with a passive. It's actually like a 1 in 50 chance to get a passive on this thing. There's only two that you can get. I think it's like Guiding Star and Star Shower. I'm not really sure. Hopefully, hopefully this game doesn't scam me any longer. Please just give me a passive. Am I crazy? Can you not get a passive on this thing? There we go. Finally, I got Star Shower on my stupid amulet. Oh, and it definitely didn't take that long. Maybe two or three rolls, but beside that, it was quite quick. Just kidding. It took forever. Save me! But anyway, yeah, let's replace. Anyway, let's look at the same lit. So blue pollen, pollen, red pollen, critical chance and pollen from bees. And most importantly, the star shower passive. The other one I could have gotten is guiding star, which isn't that useful, I'll be honest. It's good if you're helping your friends boost. But for personal use, it's kind of useless. And, and I finally completed my goal of becoming a mid-game player once more. How quinge. Now, I'm gonna do the most important thing a mid-game player can do. Who can spawn meteor shower? I'm just kidding. But if you're a mid-game player and you do that... Just get your own mythic bees, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna go for, you might be surprised, is the Robo Bear. And this is the first time in months that I'm actually doing the Robo Challenge. So let's also get the drives to complete his quest. Let's go. I got a few drives of each color. That should be pretty useful. But anyway, can you please shut up, Robo Bear? I'm trying to make a video here. I can't read your chat for forever. Since when are you like Spirit Bear? Anyway, let's talk to him. And I'm gonna try to beat his challenge a little. So make 80,000 honey, okay. Point B, uh, Fire B, and Bumblebee, sure. Why did I do that? That was a mistake. Times 1.2 B attack. And my goal is to get above round 10. If I beat level 10, I'm gonna be happy with myself. Really quickly, let's set up my hop bar, which is something I forgot to do. So sprinkler, singer. We can use some snowflakes, some drops, coconuts, honeysuckles, because why not? Let's also cop the super. Super smoothie and the nectar test, which gives me one of every single nectar. I know we already pretended that I'm a pay to win mid game player, but let's also pretend that I'm a macro user and I have max nectars. Okay, Robo Bear, what is your level 2 gonna be? Okay, Ninja and Basic B. Bro, can I get some event bees, please? Uh, there. Come on. Can this be completed? Why is Robo Why is Robo Challenge so hard? Usually I complete it in one second in the main game. I can, I think I can do this. Make 300,000 honey. Yo, Windy B, let's go. And Cobalt, help Pog. Wait, this is really good. 10% P move speed. Let's go that in capacity why not honestly the serpa challenge is kind of fun it brings back the beastmas memories which is the only time i play this game and when i have to record videos beside that i'm off trying to have a real life around four Dandelion and strawberry, sure. Let's call Pacey B and Eeny Meeny Miny um, picking Carpenter B. Hope H White, uh, let's just get all three. And I'm poor. I have zero cogs. I guess I'm a beast from Brokey and Robo Challenge standards. What am I doing in rows, dude? I have to get strawberry and dandelion pollen. You see, I'm a noob at this. Alright, let's go. Round four is complete. And now we have round five. What where I think you have to kill 25 Mikitos. Mexquitos. Oh, my fault. I didn't pronounce it correctly. Oops. Alright, baby B and yo, vicious B. Vicious B can sing all the Mexquitos and the balls, which is gonna help me quite a bit. Yeah, Vicious B, do your thing, bro. And I think it's safe to say that round five is complete. Let's go. Round six is complete. Round seven. Music, tabby, homepage, strawberries complete. I'm guessing the pumpkin patch is just about complete as well. Nice. So you guys know what's next, right? Level eight. Wait, level eight? That's level nine. A festive photon. Yo, finally! Round eight is complete. Didn't even get a speed bonus. That tells you how slow I am. Round nine. Fuzzy, gummy, capacity, red pollen. Round nine is complete. Oh my gosh! Yeah, really quickly, I'm gonna do this puff shroom run. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did the puff shroom party. I guess I got quite lucky. I got a few turpentine. Like and subscribe for this insane luck that I have. And most importantly, the final round of the Robo Party. Round 10. Let's do the Red Pollen, obviously. I th I feel like I'm more of a Red Hive, so Baby B and Baby B and Attack, Red Pollen, Capacity, all these things. This is the last round. First of all, let's get the Red Pollen done before all these stupid mosquitoes spawn. I really have to hurry up here. Come on, bees, please. Let's get Pollen. Not that difficult, okay? I'm even gonna use a little dice, just. Rose. Nice. Let's go. I got Rose. Like, I'm pretty confident that I can actually defeat all of these idiots. Unless I'm really unlucky and I'm really slow, then obviously I'm gonna lose, but let's hope that that doesn't happen. Alright, let's get Red Pollen is complete. Now I have to find three different fields with Cogmowers in them. Green here, I have to kill all three, and then find two more. Come on, bees, please kill the Cogmowers, okay? It's not that hard. Pretend it's your HOA. It'll be much easier to kill them. I right, defeated the first wave of the Cogmowers. There are four more inside of Clover. Oh, Vicious Bee. Wait, maybe Vicious Bee can do damage. If it does, it'll be insane. Wow, I'm really hoping it does. Yo, look! Look how much damage it actually does. Oh yeah, look, Vicious Bee, I think actually does damage. I have to be careful not to kill it, because it's only gonna help me. 
Vicious Bee, please, please just don't kill the Vicious Bee, okay? For once, I won't get stung in the balls by Vicious Bee. Oh, no, it's dead. But it did quite a good amount of damage. Look, a lot of these Cogmores are low. I really have to clutch up here, bro. This is the speed run. Okay, I'm literally dead. Hey, I'm almost dead. If I die here, it's over. I really can't die here. Please, just mosquitoes miss. Don't hit me. I'm begging you. Okay, just kill it. I'm begging you. Bees, please. All right, that idiot is dead, pretty much. Bro, how much health can you have? You have 40 health. Kill this one, and I'm dead. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. Stupid robot challenge. It's rigged anyway. Okay, garbage loot. Only thing I care about is micros, which might be a little useful. And I'm not sure which amulet is better. Actually, you know what? This is actually perfect. I'm gonna replace this to make it fair, because I doubt a mid-game player is gonna have this type of amulet. A little too overpowered for my level of gameplay. But let's just equip the bronze cog amulet, because it represents my skill level inside of this game. The last thing I'm gonna do is boost. Now, for the boost, I'm actually gonna use the Testral Mega Boost just to make this video a lot more fun. So these are the buffs that I get. It's a little OP. It's nothing too crazy. Only times 5 pull and times 10 capacity. Beside that, it's nothing special. Now for the ultimate mid game boost, I guess I'm gonna do purple potions. Purple potions seem pretty fair. All right, this should be good enough. This is what the normal mid game player usually donates. Although I mean that as a joke. If you donate more than one purple potion, you don't get any better wins. You probably just get more honey, which I don't care about. Yeah, I did get some pretty trash wins for 113 purple potions, but this should represent a good mid game boost. So hopefully you guys are happy with me and you won't bully me in the comments what field should i boost in good question all of these are complete garbage i do think i should do pumpkin because you know white flowers i have gummy mask on a petal wand. Definitely not because it's the only field with eight times wins. I'm not a simp for wins like that. Trust me. And now, and now the most important thing is the marshmallow bee, super smoothie, and all this garbage again. Now let's glitter and load a dice to field. Please give me pumpkin. Please do not scam me for a love and load a dice game. You've done that before. There we go. Pumpkin times four. I didn't forget. Let's go. Now it is time to boost. As a mid game noob, I mean as a mid game player. Mid game players aren't noobs. But I shouldn't be calling mid game players people anyway because they're not. They were just robots farming mindlessly for 27 hours a day. And don't take offense, that was me some time ago, farming for 28 hours a day for B-Storm gains. It was a sad time, but it paid off. Okay, anyway, my only passive, as you can see, is a star shower, and every 40 boost tokens, every 40 of those that I pick up, there's a shooting star that spawns inspired tokens on the ground. Let me show you. First, I gotta get 40 boost tokens, and I'm quite quickly running out of capacity. Wow. Even though I have 1.6 billion capacity, I'm running out of it. I guess it's just not enough for an insane hive like me. Oh, double bear morph, let's go. This is gonna be insane. I'm gonna make so much honey from this, and I should turn on gumdrops and still flakes. I don't know why I didn't have this on. But anyway, 36 out of 40. Come on, please give me boost token game. 37, 38, 39. And look, the star spawned, and now I have to stand in these green circles, and I can inspire if I catch the shooting stars. And I got times for inspire. Bro, look, what? I'm making like 10 billion honey per second. Yeah, so I'm not even kidding. This might be an insane strat for mid game if you want to make a craft on the honey. Well, obviously, I have the test strong mecha boost, but you guys can probably make at least 1 billion honey per second if you boost like this. Times for fuel boost and smoothie and marshmallow bee and every single event be in the game. But you guys probably shouldn't copy this hive inside the main game. I probably should have put a disclaimer at the start. This is all for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously. But hey, if some but if some little Timmy copies my hive and then complains that he's making 20 million honey per second and he spent $28,000 of his mom's life savings to get that hive, hey, it wasn't me, okay? It's not my fault Timmy's family is now gonna get evicted. But there are a few more things I actually want to do as a mid-game player. I had an idea to try every single end-game collector, like the Gummy Baller, Dark Scythe, and Tide Popper as a mid-game noob. See how that goes. And see which one is the best as a mixed hive. Probably the Gummy Baller, honestly. No debate in that. Gummy balls are just too overpowered. Oh, it's a star style again. Or it's a star shower. Get them confused. Every single passive has a star in it. I don't know why. Oh, times four inspire again. Whenever you have the ability to get inspire, you probably make a craft ton of honey. Like, look at this. Every single one you collect, you get times two pollen, and it stacks up pretty much infinitely. You get really lucky, you could probably get like times 100 pollen, although that's impossible. But anyway, let's just keep boosting for another five minutes or so and see how much honey we make. I doubt it'll be much, honestly, but it was just a fun experience making this hive and becoming a mid game noob again. Hopefully, people will not complain this time that I was too overpowered as a mid-game player, okay? I feel like I put enough restrictions on my body. I mean, my hive. I feel like an oppressed woman now. Like, I can only have 40 bees. I can't have a certain type of amulet. All this crap. Hey, man. My Roblox count my rights, okay? I can do whatever I want with my bee swarm hive. <laughs> well, I do notice honey peaking as well when I get the gummy morph, obviously, because gummy morph kind of OP, to say the least. When I get the bear morph, especially the mother bear morph, it's the most overpowered. And to all you paid one noobs that bought the digital bee when it was out for Robux in the shop, congrats to you, because your life is gonna be a hell of a lot easier. You get double bear morphs and stuff, so that's pretty much times five pollen right there, or times four, close enough. And it's a little overpowered, to say the least, so enjoy it while you can, until you get banned off the face of the earth by Onnit. Oh, star shower! Let's go. 
Let's get as much inspire as I can. Oh, I think this is gonna be a fat one. Yo, times five. Let's go. Why did the werewolf spawn, bro? Some idiot's werewolf spawn right here. And my bees got distracted. Bro, you literally ruined my booze, bro. Some players are just so ignorant of me trying to record a video. I feel like a woman in the gym. I'm just trying to record myself working out and then some dude walks in front of the camera. Come on, bro. You can't let that happen. Us influencers, we already have a tough life, okay? No need to ruin my bee swarm boost with a werewolf. Double bear morph again. Look, times two pollen from the polar bear morph and times two pollen from the panda bear morph. This is what I mean when I say this game just sometimes gets too OP when you have money. I, I feel like you can say that about anything. Life just gets too OP when you have money. I like money, okay? I like being OP. So if you want to give me your money, drop a like and subscribe. It really does help support the channel. But look at this inspire I'm getting. Times three, times four. Wait, I need star shower right now. Please, let me keep this inspire. Yo, times five? Yo, this is gonna be insane. Please, please, let me keep this. Oh my gosh. Imagine I got like times 10 star shower. That would have been insane. Or inspire. I keep getting it confused. Uh, oh my gosh i'm missing so many tokens i'm a noob at this okay ah oh, times three only what a scam but this is what boosting as a mid game player is nothing but pain and suffering this is what doing anything as a mid game player is nothing but pain and suffering so if you guys enjoyed my pain and suffering as a mid game player inside of beast from simulator test realm make sure you drop a like and subscribe and to everyone who made fun of me in my last video for making a very bad mid game account wow what a very accurate simulation of a mid game player lmoao i know thanks bro how could you predict the future what an accurate representation of a mid game player's experience what gifted bees gummy mask gummy boots i know this is amazing do you like and subscribe if you enjoyed join my discord in the description and i'll see you in the next one peace